Every prosperous company and entrepreneur has experienced failures in their journey. This is because for companies to grow in the long run, they need to expand and explore new ideas. The truth is many of these ideas won't succeed. It's not just small businesses that face tough times even some major brands came close to financial ruin before finally finding their path to success. Here are five well-known names and an honorable mention that nearly faced bankruptcy before making a remarkable comeback plus there are valuable lessons we can take from their unexpected winning. 1. Marvel Comics Marvel Comics now known as Marvel Worldwide has come a long way from when it started in 1939 with Martin Goodman as its founder. Back then it was a small beginning with comics which later became famous with their superheroes like Spider-Man, X-Men, Thor, The Avengers, The Fantastic Four, and The Guardians of the Galaxy. These heroes helped the company by selling a lot of comic books. But in 1993, things got tough for Marvel. The comic book market went down and they had a tough time. They didn't know what the future held. During this time Marvel decided to try making movies. They made Blade and X-Men but they didn't make much money from them because other companies controlled the movies. Marvel's luck changed when they made a deal with Merrill Lynch and created Marvel Studios. Kevin Feige led this new venture and they started making successful movies like Spider-Man and Daredevil. The biggest change came when Disney bought Marvel for $4.3 billion. This led to the release of The Avengers, a movie that made a billion dollars. Marvel's move into the world of movies not only saved them but also started a new era of superhero movies that were doing better than what DC and Dark Horse had tried before. Now, superhero movies are a big thing and Marvel is a big part of why they are so popular as they brought them to the silver screen. 2. IBM IBM is a very old company more than 100 years old. It used to be a big deal in the 1900s because it made powerful computers that were mainly used by other businesses. But in 1993 IBM was in big trouble. They were losing a lot of money, about $8.1 billion every year. The reason was that personal computers and other different kinds of computer systems were becoming popular and IBM couldn't keep up. So, in order to keep the company running IBM hired a new CEO named Lou Gerstner. He was not a computer expert, but he had a bold plan. He decided to listen to what the customers of IBM wanted. Even though he didn't know much about computers he knew that understanding why people chose IBM and what they expected was important. Customers liked IBM because it provided complete solutions and everything they needed in one package. Gerstner focused on customer listening, worked on the feedback, and regained its position in the market. Now, IBM stock is worth more than twice what it was in 1983 and the company is still around in the 21st century all thanks to Gerstner's leadership. This story shows how important it is to listen to your customers. They know why they like your products or services and why they stick with you. By asking them for feedback, like through surveys, businesses can learn what makes their customers happy and use that knowledge to get even more customers in the future. 3. Nintendo Nintendo started in Japan way back in 1889 making playing cards by hand. But today, it's one of the most successful gaming companies in the world. However, getting to this point wasn't easy for it. A while ago Nintendo was in big trouble. They had introduced their family computer disk system or Famicom to the North American market but the video game industry in the United States was a mess. There were too many bad games and they were too expensive. It seemed like Nintendo might fail. But in September 1985 Nintendo did something amazing. They released Super Mario Bros. which became the most famous video game ever. This game was just what people in the West wanted like a really good game when there weren't many around. Nintendo was clever with how they marketed and released it and it became a massive success. After that Nintendo kept making profitable games with Mario, their Italian plumber character. The perfect timing of Super Mario Bros. made it a big hit because of the problems in the gaming industry at the time. If the gaming industry hadn't collapsed Nintendo might not have had the chance to shine. The gaming community was tired of bad games that cost too much so they were skeptical of anything new. But Nintendo took a risk and released a great game and it paid off. 
Today, Nintendo is very rich and could handle losses for many years without going out of business. It's an incredible story of coming back from a tough situation. 4. Apple In the 1990s Apple was in big trouble because they made a lot of product mistakes and bad decisions. By 1997 the company was nearly broke and didn't have the money to survive the decade. To avoid going bankrupt Apple sold shares of their stock to the public at a low price of around $8 each basically asking for a kind of public loan. But something surprising happened. Microsoft who was one of Apple's big competitors decided to invest in Apple. They bought $150 million worth of Apple stock. This move was unexpected and it caused mixed reactions among fans of both Apple and Microsoft. Some people thought Microsoft might be trying to control the computer market, but that didn't happen as Microsoft sold its Apple shares by 2003. This means Apple got a loan, but instead of from a regular bank it came from Microsoft. But if they had kept the stock it could have been worth a huge $4.5 billion. This special event in the business world shows that competition doesn't always mean being really tough on each other. As Steve Jobs once said, we have to let go of the notion that for Apple to win, Microsoft needs to lose. While this might make people worry about trust or big companies having too much power at the same time it's also a reminder that businesses can compete without trying to destroy each other. Microsoft's investment in Apple had a big impact on the tech industry. It changed things in the market of mobile phones, tablets, wearables, computers, and even the music industry, and maybe even the whole world. Apple's influence is so strong that without them, the world would be very different. 5. FedEx In the 1970s, FedEx was in serious financial trouble. They were losing a lot of money, about $1 million every month, because the cost of fuel was going up. The company's founder Frederick W. Smith was in a tough spot. In a high-stakes move, Smith decided to risk the last $5,000 of the company's money by playing blackjack. Against all odds, he won $32,000 and he put that money into the company's bank account. This unexpected bit of luck gave FedEx the time it needed to survive and during that time Smith managed to secure $11 million in investment capital which saved the business from collapsing. FedEx's story is definitely amazing but it's also unique and not something that can be easily repeated. Casino gambling is designed so that the odds are in favor of the casino so Smith's success was mostly a matter of luck rather than a smart business strategy. However, luck often plays a role in the early stages of many successful businesses. It can show up as finding the right investors, hiring exceptionally talented people or just having good things happen. In this way, business owners often take calculated risks at some point, even if it's not by playing blackjack in a casino. That's all for today let us know if you have ever faced the challenge of rescuing a company or your work team. If so, could you share your experience and insights on how you successfully navigated through this situation? Your valuable advice could be immensely helpful to fellow business owners, so please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.